Module 8, Objective 4, explain color and depth perception. Describe how light stimulates the production of nerve impulses and trace the visual pathways to their destinations in the brain. Light and dark adaptation. The dark adaptive state occurs when the visual pigments are fully receptive to stimulation, while the light adaptive state finds a state of equilibrium between bleaching and the reassembly of visual pigments. If you recall, bleaching occurs when photons strike the retina, causing the <clears throat> photopigments to break down into opsin and retinol. And of course, those photopigments have to be reassembled in order for the cells to be receptive to light again. So during the light adaptive state, the rate between bleaching and the reassembly of those visual pigments are maintained homeostatically. One pathology associated with vision is retinitis pigmentosa. This is an inherited disorder in which you have this progressive retinal de degeneration and eventually blindness. The visual pathways begins at the photoreceptors and end at the visual cortex of the cerebral hemispheres localized in the occipital lobe of the brain. While those are the only two points that I would like you to know in terms of the visual pathways, we know that from the eye you have the optic nerve crossing at the optic chiasm there at the hypothalamus and then they're projected back uh, eventually onto the occipital lobe of the cerebrum where the visual cortex exists. Visual data is from the combined fields of visions that arrive at the visual cortex of the opposite occipital lobe. And this diagram really kind of demonstrates how that occurs. So the left half arrive at the right occipital lobe while the right half arrives at the left occipital lobe. And even here you can see how each optic nerve carries portions of the left and the right visual fields before they uh, end up at the visual cortex and the occipital lobe of the cerebrum. Depth, depth perception is an interpretation of the three-dimensional relationships among objects in view. And the way the brain handles depth perception is by comparing the relative positions of objects between the left and right eye images. Individuals with impairments in one or both eyes may have difficulty with depth perception.